You can come back here and check the process that you need to go through on the my.remarkable.com. This is the integrations process available for you. Okay, so my.remarkable.com is an integral part of your connection to the cloud and all of the documents that are stored there. And you can see um, your email address will be recorded over on the left-hand side and a password that goes with it. And, and your options here are home, account, manage, connect, device and apps, integrations and my files. Uh, you can also go down to the support and frequently asked questions. And they've got a great uh, user guide that you can go to as well. But what we are interested in right now is the integrations tab. So here you have obviously Connect that you can subscribe to. Um, you've got information available to you here. And then, and then this next section um, runs you through your apps, your integrations, and there is um, a Chrome extension for Read on Remarkable. But in the middle, we're going to click on Go to Integrations. So let me just tap on that. And this is the screen that it brings up explaining that you can connect Google Drive, Dropbox and OneDrive. So you can currently see I've got two integrations and we're going to go to the Remarkable device in a minute. I'm going to show you them. Um, and then once you integrate them, you can rename them. So down the bottom here, I can add as many Dropboxes as I want. If I click on Add right now, give it a second, it will take me to the login details for Dropbox. I pop that in, sign in, and then it will take me back to here and it will give me a box like this that says Dropbox uh, with an option to rename and a tick with active and the date that I authorized it. I can add another Google Drive, another OneDrive. You can add as many um, drives and integrate them as you want. I've got two, I've renamed them. And then what we're going to do now is hop over to the Remarkable device and I will show you what that looks like. These two drives, what that will look like on the Remarkable device. Okay, so let's just talk about integrating. I can see I've integrated two of the three options. Dropbox is the other one, which I haven't integrated yet, but I probably will at some point. So if I go to OneDrive, it will show me that directory, that whole drive. I can't do things in here like if i go into documents right and i come into this this planner and i long press it all i can do is copy it so this is not a way to access your onedrive and sort your stuff out and work in onedrive that is not what this integration is for so let me go back this is the um, root directory which is i just transferred some files from my remarkable <clears throat> let me use the correct word i exported here um, that's why they're there. But let me go back to the integrations tab. Let me make it uh, look normal. This is the home screen. Let me come up here to integrations. Now, if I click on my Google Drive, again, you will see, what is that? You will see, that's interesting. I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is these are all my files that I work on developing all my documents. You will see my tree, but again, when I select a, here, yeah, see how it says not compatible? It's because it's a PNG file, but it likes the uh, PDF files, you see? Because I can do something, if I long press on that, I can copy it to my device. But that's it. If I, if I long press, let's unselect that. If I long press on that, nothing. If I long press on this one, I get no response at all because it's not compatible. So let's go back there. Let us go back out here to my files. Um, and just to say that integrations, you have to do that from myremarkable.com. I think I added, let me just go to add quick sheets and go back a sheet. I showed you before myremarkable.com. It's one of the seven ways that you can import and upload. And um, it, you need to log in to it. My suggestion is to bookmark it. Once you've done that, you can actually register and integrate the, any of the three drives, all of them, or just one of the three drives in that space. 
So thank you. A like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up would be great on the channel. Thanks so much.